ready to go feed some fish? Who's ready? Yeah. Let's go feed some fish. With small handfuls of powdered food grasped in their palms, a few dozen grade two students hover over these large tanks to say hello to these guys. Over 25,000 chum salmon that have basically become their pets. All the fish look like seaweed. <laughs> Very cute. One of them I'm going to release is going to be named Princess. Today, Princess and the other thousands of young salmon are getting their regular feeding from these seven and eight year olds who've been watching the fish grow since they first hatched. They're like this big. How big are they now? I'm like this big. This is what Bob Crandall loves to be a part of, getting kids excited about fish. They come down and they feed the fish and they also help colonize the fish and release them into the streams. Now, chum aren't necessarily the most popular kind of fish to eat, but Bob says these chum have a higher purpose, and that's to eventually decompose into the soil, and the nutrients from their body will feed the ecosystem. And that's why it's so important for these chum to have a place to spawn each year. So you can top, take the top off and pull one, two, or three and let more water out, or put them in and hold more water. A short drive from the hatchery, Bob shows me how this aging dam works. It's been serving Lake Howichan's Beaver Creek for over two decades, a place where chum, trout and primarily coho salmon come to mate each year. We have one to two hundred mating pairs of coho return here each and every year. So removing the dam, we would lose that fish resource. But the dam has a small leak, which means it has a high chance of failing, so the provincial government has decommissioned it. But knowing how important this dam is, Bob and the rest of the Lake Cowichan Salmonid Enhancement Society have put together a plan to replace it. Without this dam, during the dry months of the summer, we would see almost no water to completely dry. And that won't, will, will not function for uh, the coho species. Their plans for a new dam have been approved, but it's going to cost about $50,000. They have about $15,000 in grant money so far, and the project will happen in the summer. Bob just hopes this process will show the importance of structures like this. We all experienced the effects of drought last summer, and with the concept of drought possibly coming again, I would say that holding water everywhere you possibly can may be a good idea, and decommissioning of dams might need a, a rethink. As long as the creek's water is still controlled through the dam, the effects of drought won't be an issue. The kids will continue raising salmon each year, and the fish will keep returning to these Lake Cowichan waters every season. In Lake Cowichan, I'm Jen Moranitz.